so especially if you if you take that whoever the human is so human is nothing but ourselves just we are replicating entire human as a mission suppose we have the eyes and we are able to see who is that person and we are able to identify who the person is we are able to recognize suppose if you have the image in the group image so we have group pic there are 10 or 15 people are there in the group pic so in each and every uh, in that group pic who is that person if we are able to identify suppose take an example this is a in the facebook we are upload we are trying to upload some kind of images like this our friends pics so we are able to identify who is that person so it will come as a rectangular box on the face and we'll able to identify who is that person so these are all possible because of the computer vision so so in the artificial intelligence which is a combination of the computer vision as well as nlp nlp is nothing but the natural language processing how we are able to speak to other person the similar way we are making the system to speak to speak how we are trying to speak first we will learn the letters based on the letters we will learn the words based on the words we are trying to learn the sentence in the similar way we are also making the system to train in such a way that to speak with someone that is where ai is totally get replaced with some other jobs nowadays everyone is telling no ai is replacing with some jobs example <coughs> before we used to have non voice process so whoever the person is able to send a message the other person will able to give the response but nowadays no need of the person even the system itself it will be able to give the response based on whatever the person have asked the question that is what chatbot so whenever you open the website at the right side corner of the generally most of the websites will be finding out right side corner one type of chat box will be there so there there they it will ask you like how can i assist you so like that you will ask you will send some of the answer based on what or the question it has asked you so if it satisfies it will give response otherwise i did not found from my end so like that some answer it will give reply based on the answer which you have posted what the question is asked by chatbot so this is all because of the nlp so i think most of you know what is computer vision nlp these are all terminologies you have come across computer vision generally we are giving the vision to the system how we will see the how the human have the eyes the similar way we are giving the eyes to the system to identify who is that person what the person is doing how to create a videos such a way that is a purpose of computer vision next one is natural language processing which is the most advanced applications nowadays wherever you are going there you are finding that so that is where whenever you have send a email send a email to someone so automatically in the email it will generate the response like thanks a lot thank you something responses it will be generated based on the whatever the context you have sent the email automated responses it will be coming whenever you are trying to create a email so how it is happening because of nlp next before we used to read the we have the textbook or we have the some kind of journals in that journals we will be having thousands to 10000 pages 
notebooks will be having. So if we want to read those all the pages of the notebooks, it will take time to read. So nowadays you don't need to have the trouble. No need have having the trouble. Automatically, one text summarizer softwares will be there. So if you keep this entire 10,000 pages into this software text summarizer, automatically it will give the entire summary of this notebook or the paper, it will give into the one page. So entire textbook summary, you can read it in one page. So what did is happen inside that entire textbook, you will we'll be getting. No need of struggling, spending a so much amount of time on the same notebook. So this is also possible because of the NLP. So first thing, what all the course contents we are going to cover in this course, I'm going to tell. So later, so if you have any doubts, you can ask me. So everything, whatever I'm telling in this class, it will be theoretical as well as practical. No need of, I won't tell only theory, even the practical implementation also will be covered in this course. So how, so theory, you must and should have to know. So unless if you don't know the theory, you cannot implement the anything using the AI. So theory, so what is the mathematics behind the theory? Even you should know the mathematics. So the mathematics concepts also, which is required in AI. So all those mathematical concepts, if you don't know also, no, no issue. I will take care. So I will tell in scrap, in depth of mathematics behind the each and every algorithm. So after learning this algorithm, particular algorithm, we will implement the same thing using the Python. So that's why first I will tell the First, I will tell Python overview and basics. So what are all essentials which are required related to Python, I will be covering there. Next one is artificial neural networks. Directly, I will start. So I think we have in our body, neurons are there. The similar construction of neuron we will construct here. Based on that human neuron, how it is designed artificially, neural networks we will discuss here. So in depth of artificial neural networks, we are going to cover in this course. That is, what is meant by biological neuron. So like uh, medulla oblongata, what is perceptron, all these things we will be discussing. From the medulla oblongata in the brain, it is having medulla oblongata. So how it will be able to respond everything. We'll cover here what is meant by biological neuron. So single layered perceptron. So I think by seeing these topics, you, won't, you will not get any idea. So just I will going to discuss now what are all the topics which are going to cover. Just I'm giving an overview for you. So even I can show the PPT presentation, which is having the all the syllabus, but by saying and if I'm telling that it will be fine for me, if you don't feel comfortable, please let me know. So that is biological neuron and what is single layer perceptron. Based on this construction of biological neuron, we will be studying the single layer perceptron. This is called in the computer terminology. This is a 
human terminology so which we have the in our body next one is multi layered perceptron what is forward propagation what is back propagation what are weights and biases what is loss function what is optimizers what is meant by matrix what are activation functions all will be discussing in the artificial neural networks next in the convolution neural networks we are broadly classified into classification and detection algorithms classification is generally classification is suppose one single image will be there this is an image in this image <clears throat> so in this image so in this image it will be having the rectangle in this image it will be having the circle so in so it has to get classified so which image it belongs to whether it is a rectangle or whether it is a circle it has to get classified so in this image we have drawn the rectangle in this image we have drawn the circle whenever it has to we show this particular image to the system system should be able to recognize that this is a rectangle whenever you show this image to the system it should be able to recognize that this is a circle how we can how system can able to identify which this is which it belongs to so that all based upon the whatever the models whatever the images we trained on the system based on that it will be able to classify so that is we will discuss all the classification algorithms like vanilla cnn lnet lxnet vgg16 19 resnet 50 101 inception net google net all the different algorithms we will be discussing in the classification algorithms the similar way object detection algorithms in the object detection algorithms in the object detection algorithms if we take here so this is a circle this is a kind of rhombus this is a rectangle this is a triangle so this is an one kind of an image it should be able to identify it belongs to which category so whether it is a rhombus whether it is a circle whether it is a rectangle whether it is a triangle if it is able to identify in the single image itself if it is able to identify each and every image that is called as an object detection so where we are going to study as rcn <coughs> fast rcn faster rcn ssd yolo models v1 v2 v3 V four, V five version. So many versions it came. 
related to yolo models all those algorithms we will be studying here so in this itself we will be knowing the what is meant by detection what is meant by segmentation what is meant by tracking all those different type of classification related to detection segmentation and we will be studying in depth here next one we are also going to discuss about the tensor flow and pytorch li libraries so which are mostly essential for the cnn and nlp ai course these two libraries which are very essential these two libraries will be discussing next one is natural language processing so we will discuss the previous history how the natural language processing it come how the natural language processing it came so what is the history of behind natural language processing so it is <clears throat> now we are seeing the nlp but it came in 1900 only so up to from then what is the history behind the nlp all will be discussing here so what is meant by so we will be studying some of the libraries like nltk spacey gensim text block and stanford libraries so which are essential all the libraries will be discussing here so nowadays compared to these libraries everyone is giving more importance to the generative ai i think everyone heard this generative ai prompt engineering all these llm models large language models so up to by existing these technologies they are not specifically useful for these libraries so we will be doing what is meant by stemming what is meant by lemmatization what is meant by sentence tokenizer word tokenizer what is a how to removal of stop words identifying and removal of stop words what is meant by punctuation marks how to remove the punctuation marks what is a rnn lstm bidirectional lstm encoder decoder self attention bet models after studying the bet models we will be discussing about the gpt algorithm gpt1 gpt2 gpt3 gpt4 so nowadays everyone using chat gpt so in the chat gpt <coughs> gpt is nothing but the which is an nl nlp algorithm behind the chat gpt this algorithm only will works that algorithm how it works everything will be discussing in this course so gpt1 gpt2 gpt3.5 and 4 gpt3.5 if, if you open chat gpt you could see the version on the top gpt3.5 <laughs> so all these algorithms will be discussing in our course so everything which is theoretical as well as practical so what are we discussing this entire thing into the depth so unless if you are not get clear on the specific topic i will not move to the other topic so first of all you should have to understand very clearly 
then only i will move to the other topic so if you have any doubts you can ask me now nandita titus swapna priya and venkat yeah if you if you have any doubts regarding this course and still if any topics you want to discuss or anything you can ask me now Uh, I think so. I have a you know, question here. Uh, so, what are the prerequisites technologies we require you know, to learn this course? Any uh, brief? No prerequisites. If you know the Python, then it's bad. Then it's enough. Okay. Even if you don't know, also just I will give overview and basics which are required for the this course. Like uh, you know, I see in that you know the terms and uh, which you mentioned here, right? It's very difficult to understand. Yeah, so, yeah. So it uh, looks uh, like reason, yeah. it looks like that only. So whenever we started, <laughs> you will feel very comfortable. So looks like it. It looks like that only. So it will be an easy one. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about uh, Titus, uh, Nandita, Swapna, Priya? Do you have any doubts? Yes, Kiran, you have any doubts? You can ask me. Sir, we talk about the algorithms. Uh, I think which type of algorithms that is a mathematical related? So mostly all are mathematical related only. Okay. So that everything I will take it. You no need of worry. Even if you don't know mathematics or if you are more afraid of mathematics, you no need to worry. So I will discuss everything here. Okay. okay. Swapna Priya and Nandita, do you have any doubts? Yeah. Okay. Okay, then thank you. So, if you have any doubts, you can ask me at any time. So, all these topics will be discussing in our course, both theoretically as well as practical. You are also supposed to do practice along with me in the class itself. Whatever I'm uh, uh, doing something in the related to the content which we have discussed here, you are also supposed to type along with me in the course class itself. If you feel ha having any doubt, you can ask me then and there only. So that is what I can give assurance and as well as if you did not understand the specific topic, I will not move to the other topic. Unless if you get clarified, then only I will move to the other topic. Sir, if you provide any material or soft copy or hard copy related to no, the topic. Not soft copy or hard copy. So oh. whatever which we are going to discuss, Parallelly, you are supposed to type there only. So that itself, it is more than enough. Okay. Okay. Discussing whatever discuss in the class, you are supposed to practice there only. No need of going, uh, spe finding, uh, allotting specific hours for practice. You can practice along with me in the class. Okay, sure. Just uh, overview, what I can say is just we are replicating the human. That's all. That is artificial intelligence. Uh, hi, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, just I want to know, like, uh, is it like something uh, kind of programming we have to write? Uh, something or it's a, is there uh, like any UI tool, drag and drop kind to in Python? Not drag and drop, this is a programming. Programming only completely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, need to work Python? Uh -huh. Programming means uh, like uh, writing a so much big complex program, not like that. 
So just you should know what is the terminology, what is the theory behind the uh, these uh, algorithms. The same theory you are going to write step by step in the programming. If you know the theory very well, okay. the same kind of implementation you will do in the programming. Okay. Suppose if you know what is meant by, for example, if I am telling activation function. So there are so many activation functions are there. So in this, in our program, activation function equal to ReLU. So just you will be writing like this simply in the Python. Activation equal to ReLU. That's all. Okay. Okay. So uh, what is the duration for this course? Uh, so this course is for four months. Four months, OK. Uh -huh. So because which is a very long course, uh, uh, so much uh, topics which are there, so many topics are there which we have to cover. So that's why it will yeah, take. Yeah. Like it's a Python course or is it AI using Python, sir? The little, I joined AI. a little bit later. So AI after parallelly AI with Python. So first I will give Python overview and basics based on that. We will cover the topics, whatever the topics which we are going to discuss, the same thing we will implement in Python. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, uh, you have any doubts, sir? For other persons, just I'm giving another two minutes. So this is an opportunity. If you have anything in your mind, you can ask me. So one okay. more thing, uh, like, uh, for this uh, course to done practical, uh, what are the softwares required that will be provided by uh, the institute and uh, can we use office laptop to, for installation if it will permit? <laughs> that all I will take care. Okay. So just you need to get install the Python in your system. Okay. No need of any other software, anything, nothing else it requires. Only Jupyter Notebook. That is Anaconda. You have to install the Anaconda as well as another one is VS Code, Visual Studio Code. These two are required. Thank you. So if you if you don't have that installation of the software in your system, make sure to get installed in one your system. One is Anaconda, another one is Visual Studio Code. If you got stuck in anywhere in installation, you can ping me. So I can uh, help you to install the software in your system. Those are free softwares? Uh, yeah, free softwares only. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.